Who cares? Marvel is Marvel. It's all the same. Nope. No, it's not. Hello everyone, welcome to Joe RPG. I am your host, your boy Joe, and we are doing another trailer reaction for today. Two trailers, in fact, uh, because both trailers were dropped a few hours ago and almost at the same day, I think. Uh, one from Sony and one from Disney. Uh, to be honest, I was so busy the whole day when these trailers were dropped and I tried to hold off, uh, off as much as I can possibly muster so that I will be doing this blind, rea uh, blind reaction. Uh, so we are doing Morbius from Sony and then we are going to do Black Widow from the Disney MCU. I've known you since you were a child. Please. You have a gift. You always have. Jerry, There's better. an answer to your disease. It's polio. You'll find it. Yes, polio. Association with Marvel. Sony. I should have died years ago. Damn. I'm still here if not to fix this. I have a rare blood disease and I'm running out of time. This could be my last chance. You're up to something. What is it? That's not exactly legal. I want to see you get hurt more than you already have. This would be a cure. Mm. This experiment with bats. Is <laughs> this Batman begins? <laughs> no, vampire bats. At what cost? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh no, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Don't be fooled by it, folks. No, of course. Ever. Increase strength and speed. Kinda looks like Nightcrawler. Echolocation. From X Men. Mm -hmm. And an overpowering urge to consume blood. How far are we oh, allowed to go? Oh, whatever. Spider Man. Go fix something that's broken. I saw that. Until the remedy. And it looks like Raimi's Spider-Man, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, is worse than the disease. Oh, there it is. Now he looks more like Morbius. Okay. Michael Morbius. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing, huh? Hey. Vulture? That's Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton reprising his role as Anthony Toombs as the Vulture? Oh. Why he was wearing a coat? Okay, we need to watch that again. Need to watch that again, folks. Okay. Michael, I've known you since you were a child. Uh -huh. You have a gift. You always have. If there's an answer to your disease, you'll find it. I should have died years ago. He's still uh, thin and wiry. I'm guessing. After after playing the Joker from Suicide Squad, he still retained that uh, that scrawny body of his. 
when he shot Morbius. That's not exactly legal. Gonna kind of lost a lot more weight, I think, doing this movie. Oh. Oh, he go. He cut his hand. Just to, just to draw some blood, so the vampire bats can see him. In, in charge at him. Maybe his research is somewhat. Maybe his research is somewhat related to vampire bats. Strength and speed. That scene, really, that scene really looked like Nightcrawler. They've been overpowering urge to consume blood. Which is true. In the comics, the more Morbius far are we allowed to go? consume more blood, the stronger he gets. Like something that's broken. Hence, the living vampire. Until the remedy. <laughs> is worse than the disease. There he is. And the stinger. Michael Morbius. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing, huh? What's up, Hey. Doc? So, that teaser is for the 2020 movie Morbius starring Jared Leto as Michael Morbius. Now after his disastrous relationship with Warner Brothers and DC playing as the Joker in Suicide Squad, uh, Jared Leto is back again in the superhero movie again as the Marvel villain Morbius. Uh, did Jared Leto knew that he was signing up under Sony Marvel and not Disney Marvel? I wonder how his agent pitched that to him. Uh, hey Jared, want to play another super villain? Not if it's DC. Is it a Marvel villain? Well, he is one of Spider-Man's villains. Spider-Man? He is Marvel, right? Sign me up! Sony is the studio though. Who cares? Marvel is Marvel. It's all the same. Nope. No, it's not. According to the teaser, he is a scientist who has a debilitating illness that I can only guess is polio or something similar that made him grow up using crutches to walk. And he is looking for a way to cure himself by experimenting with vampire bats. Which of course, according to comic book logic, if you mess around with, uh, with animals, and if all stars align, you will get superhuman abilities. To all of you guys who are not aware, uh, this movie is based on the Marvel Comics character named Morbius, the living vampire. In the comics, he is one of Spider-Man's many, many arch-villains. Even Spider-Man had to team up with Blade, the Daywalker, to take care of Morbius. Uh, fun fact. Wesley Snipes was Blade during the 90s and Marvel at the time made three movies about it. Recently, Marvel announced that Maharshala Ali will be the next Blade for the MCU. Could you imagine the possibilities? Speaking of studios and Marvel, did you saw those taglines that said from the studios that brought you Spider-Man Homecoming? From the studio that brought you Spider-Man Far From Home. From the studio that brought you Venom. I see what you did there, Sony. Don't be confusing the public that you were the studio that brought uh, Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home. The only studio that did that boy right was Marvel Studios of Disney. You have no creative control about those movies and you just got the money while Marvel Studios did all of the work. The Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies and that Venom movie, those were all yours. But wait, why is Michael Keaton there as the stinger? 
if Michael Keaton is reprising his role as Anthony Toombs, aka The Vulture, then that means this movie is in the same universe with the Tom Holland Spider-Man who is still part of the MCU. Then does this mean Morbius is part of the MCU? Maybe this is one of those conditions that Kevin Feige had to agree to so that Spider-Man can still hang with the Avengers. Well, uh, we will see. Marvel Studios this time. Natasha, my sister. Natasha, my sister. After all this time, what brings you home? So she basically had the same accent of Black of I was to of Scarlet Witch gun. during the Age of Ultron. Any more than just a trained killer. You're fooling yourself. Does all the Russians they sound like that? Killers. Really? We have unfinished business. As we. Who? Ruby Harbor. Red Guardian. Family. Back together again. You got fat. Smell the water, Wayne. There's a new world of widows. Mm. New enemies. I'm done running from my past. Hey, Taskmaster. Master. And there's no stinger. Okay. Well, I've been talking a lot, so try to watch it again, shall we? Natasha, my sister. After all this time, what brings you home? I'm on the run. I was trying to do something good. Any more than just a trained killer. You're fooling yourself. We are still both trained killers. We have unfinished business. As we. Still fits. Hmm? Family. Back together again. You got fat. Smell the water, Wayne. There's a new world of widows. New enemies. I'm done running from my past. Oh, okay. So that one is the first official trailer for Black Widow, also for this 2020. To be honest, it was not that different from the teaser that they released over a month ago. Now, according to other sites, this movie would take place after Captain America Civil War. Uh, I would rather believe that would be the case because after the end of the movie, Black Widow sided with Captain America's crew that became enemies of the state for not acknowledging the Sokovia Accords. What this trailer is telling me that there were other Russian Black Widow agents who might be doing something terrible and because of the events of Civil War, the United Nations had oversight with the remaining members of the Avengers which of course our Black Widow here feels that it has to be her to stop all of the other Widow agents but clearly she is going to need some help she cannot really go to the government approved Avengers cause she might get arrested 
after getting out of the raft underwater prison Hawkeye and Ant-Man were put under house arrest uh, Vision and Scarlet Witch were practically enjoying their secret honeymoon all across Europe Captain America and Falcon were in Wakanda so that Black Panther can help fix with the Winter Soldier so yeah Black Widow had to go back to her family in Russia um, we got David Harbour here from Stranger Things uh, playing as the Red Guardian basically Russia's answer to Captain America and we also got Florence Pugh as Yelena Belova who was one of the same uh, Black Widow agents the same batch uh, with Natasha Romanoff and according to the latest Marvel Comics she would become the second Black Widow which makes sense because Natasha cannot really be in the future Avenger movies anymore uh, the dude with the metal mask and the small metal shield is Taskmaster he was also known using a bow and arrow in the teaser trailer that they released a month ago in the comics Taskmaster is one of the villains of the Avengers who had the special ability of um, photographic memory and photographic reflexes and with those abilities he can easily mimic the moves and weapon techniques of people after witnessing them at least once so if this movie is going for that then that would explain why this dude taskmaster uh, has a shield and a bow and arrow all thanks of course by watching captain america and hawkeye both uh both trailers um are interesting in their own right but what about you guys uh, what do you think about these two movie trailers based on marvel characters uh, tell me what you think at the comments down below and be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified for future content see you again in the next video peace